One of the aims of the Mary Gillam Archive project is to engage people with their local biodiversity. With this in mind, and as part of British Science Week, the project organised an event at the Dairwano Activity Centre in order to investigate the hidden biodiversity which surrounds us. Groups of school children from two local schools were shown how to find some of the creatures that live in ponds and encouraged to think about and record their finds. They then looked under logs and found an array of species, such as wood lice, granny greys, earwigs, centipedes, worms, and slugs. Watch him bed at the top fire, okay? It's a bit oh. wet and nasty, breed. In the afternoon, a group of adults tried their hand at pond dipping. Okay. Oh, look, 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 there's yeah, there he is. They took their finds back to the lab to examine and identify what they had captured. Yeah. The last got pointy tails. Yeah. 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 And this one, this one is the shape yeah. of his head. Yeah. So the head shapes the same. Yeah. The day was a success. Local groups got a chance to explore an outdoor environment and discover some of the fascinating diversity of plants and animals found where they live. And above all, they had fun. We really enjoyed the opportunity to work with different groups in the local community and to have them investigate their local wildlife. It was also really nice to get kids out of their school so they could learn in an outdoor classroom. Um, it was a great experience showing off the animals to the children. However, the most rewarding part of the day was when children would approach us afterwards excited to learn more about the nature that we found. So I hope we've inspired the next generation of Mary Gillams.